Good morning, you guys. It is bright and early today. I have Porter with me. Say hi. Hi. Hey. He always waves with his back arm. And uh, Grayson is here in the playroom playing, making messes. Say hi, Gray. Hi, Gray. Look how messy our playroom is. We need to clean it up. Grayson is also eating an apple that was on the floor from yesterday. So, yeah. We're just jamming this morning. Porter is dressed. Grayson is not. I am vlogging today because we are getting ready to go out the door. Porter has his 15-month doctor's appointment today. So we're going to get another checkup on Mr. Porter here. He turned 15 months two days ago. Because today is the 16th of December. You're three. What, how old are you going to be on your birthday? You're going to be you're going to be on your birthday April 11th. Your birthday is April 11th. That's right. How old will you be? I'm older than four. You're going to be four. That's right. So anyway, yeah, I have Porter's doctor's appointment today. Do you want some milk? He wants some milk. So let me get him some and then I'll keep talking to you guys. Okay, sorry about that. I got Porter some milk and he's drinking it in the playroom. So yeah, like I said, Porter has his... 15 month doctor's appointment today, so we're gonna get updated stats on how big he is. I'm super interested to see um, how tall he is, how much he weighs. I'm thinking we're gonna have to move up to size four diapers. He's in size three right now because the size three are like barely fitting him anymore. So um, that's why I'm interested to see like what his new stats are. I'm not sure if they're gonna give him a shot today. I'm assuming he's getting a shot. I know they stop at like the two year appointment and don't pick up until they turn five, but this is the 15 month appointment. I'm pretty sure he gets a shot. I don't really remember. I know he's gonna get his finger pricked. Um, he got it pricked last time. They tested his lead levels and then his lead levels came back like errored. I guess like they either the machine at Children's where they tested his blood was wrong or the nurse taking his blood like didn't let the alcohol swab dry off completely so it tampered his results so anyway he has to get it done again gray had to get it done twice too it is what it is what are you doing you're in your undies oh <laughs> are you naked are you naked <coughs> hey, go get your clothes on they're in the playroom He is a goof. So anyway, we're gonna go today. I was in a little bit of a panic because when I made this appointment three months ago, I assumed that, I, I made it for the morning on a Thursday because I assumed Grayson would just be in preschool and I would be able to just take Porter, get it done while Grayson preschool and not have to take Gray and all that. Well, I didn't realize that Grayson only had preschool on Tuesday this week and then they were off for winter break. So he's on winter break right now and does not have preschool today. So I was in a panic, like I really don't want to have two kids at the doctor. So I called my mom and thankfully she's in town and not doing anything this morning. So I'm gonna take Grayson over to her house. He's gonna get some one-on-one -on -one time with her, which he's gonna love. He's been just talking about it for days now, ever since I told him he was going over to her house. So he's gonna go hang out with her while we do the doctor's appointment and then we'll probably um, meet up at their house and just hang out for a little bit and waste the morning away. So that is our plan for today. I will record a little bit when we get to the doctor's office because it always seems like we have some time while we're waiting for the doctor to show up. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see um, how Porter's looking. I think he's basically on track with everything. I was going to ask the doctor like about Porter's clinginess because he's just so clingy to me and I know it's probably normal but I don't know maybe he has some ideas of like things I can do to like help that um because I just don't want to get to the point where he's like three years old and starting preschool and he's like screaming crying as they carry him off into preschool like I've seen some kids so anyway that's what I was going to talk about, but other than that, I really don't have any concerns about him. He's walking. That was my one concern last appointment, and he's talking not much, but he is only 15 months, so anyway, uh, let's go to this appointment and see what the doctor says. Oh, also, 
Here's our elf this morning. He is chilling next to our paper towels. He's got a great view in our kitchen. Uh, we named him Mistletoe, if I never said before. Also, Grayson has decided that our Christmas tree lights need to be on right this morning, so they are on and twinkling. Yeah, at the doctor's office. He just got poked. He's okay. He's ornery today, though. It's just sad. Sad baby. We're back in our normal room with the map. And they have a little elf. <laughs> Cute. We've never been here at Christmas time, huh? We're just hanging out. They actually have books. Maybe we'll read some books, huh? Uh oh, are you ripping the paper? Border! <laughs> the band aid. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> just ripping it all. Nice one. Do it again. <laughs> what little is left of the leaves, Gray is jumping in. We've got a little bit on this side, and then we've got a little bit on the other side. But other than that, we really don't have very many leaves. Porter's over here playing in the playhouse. Are you in the house? He's loving opening and closing the doors and the windows. <laughs> Peekaboo! Ah. Oh, you want me to take a video? Okay. Gray wants me to take a video <laughs> of him jumping. Yeah, okay, I'm taking a video. Go ahead. Oh, he's doing the smaller one. Woo! We really didn't do like leaf pictures this year. Go, the weather's been crummy. Gonna go leaf pile. Okay, go ahead. He's gonna go the other side. <laughs> I love how he has to run everywhere. <laughs> and then I've got this one in the house. It is so warm out today. It's like yeah. 60 and it's really windy, but it really doesn't feel that bad because of how warm it is. Um, but we are back from Porter's doctor's appointment. I didn't record any more of the appointment because Porter was a mess the whole time. Yep, go ahead. He cried the whole time. He's got stranger danger so bad right now. He doesn't want anyone in the room with us. He doesn't want anyone touching, at it, touching him, looking at him, nothing. Anyway, it was good. They said he's healthy and looks great. I did bring up the fact that he's super clingy and always wanting me. And they said that's totally normal. They said 15 months is like the peak of clinginess. I never experienced that with Grayson. He was just never clingy, but Porter is. And so they said it could last all the way up to like two years. Sorry, I had to put Porter on the truck. So yeah, anyway, they said it's normal. They said to just keep doing what I'm doing. Leave, don't make a big deal when you leave the house. Um, eventually he'll just understand. Grayson's on this tiny car. <laughs> and Porter's on this big truck. It should be the other way around. So anyway, they said it was great. They asked like developmental questions and like, is he crawling on things? Is he climbing things? Uh, how many words is he saying? Is he walking? Is he using a spoon and a fork? So just like different things like that. So um, seemed to hit all the check marks. Before COVID, when with Grayson growing up, they had me fill out little questionnaires about his developmental things, but I think because of COVID, they just don't do that anymore. So the doctor just asked it instead of me filling out a paper. So anyway, it was good. Um, Porter ended up getting two shots. You know, they tell you what the shots are and it's like MMR, Vakura, I don't even know. So he got two shots. He's already had them three times each. So it's nothing new. He cried, he hated it. And then he got his finger poked and he cried. 
but I think that was mostly just because the nurse had to hold his hand while she was getting the drops of blood in the vial. I don't think it was, I don't think it was so much like the prick. They said no news is good news, so hopefully we don't hear from them about his results because I guess they were telling me if he fails the second test then we have to go to the hospital and like get it drawn like out of his vein. That doesn't sound fun. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But other than that, the appointment, the appointment went really well. I made an 18 month appointment in March. So we'll go back again. What are you doing? He's obviously recovered. He's doing fine now. He was happy when we left. You know, it's really funny. He, as soon as we walked in the room, he remembered where we were and was freaking out because he must have remembered like the shots and the strangers and stuff. With Grayson, every time we went to the doctor, he was fine. It's like he didn't really remember the last time and even shots like they just weren't that big of a deal, but Porter remembered and he was like freaking out. So um, yeah, it was a hard appointment. It felt like we were there for like eternity, even though we were there for like an hour because Porter was just so unhappy. He didn't want to read the books. He didn't want to play with the crinkle paper other than ripping it apart. He just wanted me to hold him. And then he wanted, he kept motioning to, to the door. He wanted to leave the room. So it was hard. Um, I'm glad it's over and we don't have to go back for another three months. So it was really cute though. The office was decorated with Christmas. They had elves everywhere. Grayson would have loved it if I would have brought him, but thankfully I didn't have to. My mom watched Grayson. They had a good time. They took Berkeley on a walk and they put the choo-choo trains in their basement. He had a great time, a great one-on-one -on -one time for sure. Okay, okay. wow. Okay, let's, let's, here, Porter, do you wanna go down this? Are you swinging? It feels like we haven't done this in so long because it's been winter. And lately Grayson has only wanted to go in the front yard and done sidewalk chalks. So we really haven't played in the backyard very much hold lately. Hold my hand. Hold your hand. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm holding the camera. So it's almost bedtime. It's later in the day. We are just chilling. We had dinner and bath. And now we're just watching a little show before bed. Grayson is a total nerd and he likes to watch shows about how to write letters and trace letters. So they like show like, oh, to make a D, you go down and over. So he's a little nerd. Sorry, I was zoomed in there. Porter just watches what he can. <laughs> he doesn't really get a choice and he's drinking some water. Uh, we really didn't do much else today. Um, I did get updated stats on Porter, if you're interested at all. I will read off what his stats are because I sent them to Anthony. Okay, so Porter is 79th percentile for height. He's 57th percentile for weight and he's 55th percentile for head circumference. So I feel like head and weight, he's averaging out but height he's still really really tall which makes sense because he is like almost grown out of his 18 month clothes he's definitely tall um but he the he's growing great so anyway i just wanted to put in those stats here since i don't do his monthly updates anymore uh, womp womp speaking of weight he found the mouths do you want some mouths Okay, we were just snacking on something else and now he wants melts. You want melts? More? Okay. Okay, so anyway, I am going to close out the vlog. Um, I don't think we're going to do anything more today. Um, so I will pick uh, the camera back up. I think the next vlog I'm going to do is Lights at the Zoo, which we are doing in two days. Hopefully it doesn't rain. They're forecasting rain in the morning. Hopefully it's only in the morning and not all day. We're going on a Saturday and it's a Saturday before Christmas. Not the best idea, but it's hard to go during the week and yeah, it was just bad timing. So we'll see how it goes, but we have to do it. it's tradition. So anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you all are enjoying your holiday season. I hope you're getting all your gifts found and your wrapping done and um, kids are starting to get out of school. So I hope you're keeping your sanity. I am not. <laughs> Gray was kind of bad today and Porter was cute, so I swear it's like they switch. And then sometimes they're both bad. And then those are the hard days. Hardest days, I guess I should say. So anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm closing out this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Bye.